Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sherrard Show. I'm your host, Sherrard, live on location here at the beautiful Harold's Chicken on 6523 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood. I am not in Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first Harold's Chicken that's open in California. I'm so excited because right beside me is the owner of the Harold's Chicken. I will be talking to her in one moment, but incidentally, 2020 is the 70th anniversary of Harold's Chicken. People don't really know that Harold's Chicken started in 1950 with an entrepreneur and his wife, and they started one of the most phenomenal chicken places um, in Chicago, and now they're branching out in Hollywood. So definitely want to uh, come by here. The chicken is awesome, as well as the atmosphere. So this lovely young lady to my right is the owner of Harold's Chicken, and she's all the way out here in Hollywood. I'm so excited. Um, this is Chastity Clark. Welcome to the Sherrard Show. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for taking your time out to be on the show today. Um, I said I just have to meet this wonderful lady. I passed by here and saw this awesome edifice being from Chicago. I said I need to know the owner. So congratulations to you. How's it been coming? It's going great. It's going great. We've had a wonderful reception from the community as well as from Chicago. Um, people who are migrants into the Los Angeles Hollywood area so they've been they've given us an amazing reception and uh, welcoming here. Wow that's incredible. Now this Harold's Chicken is quite different from the ones back in Chicago. Chicago you just come in you may see one chair or two you just stand and order your food come on out that's it but this is a full restaurant and bar is that correct? It is it is and uh, we actually took it back to what the original used to be and which the original Harold's Chicken the first one was with restaurant and bar so that's where we got the concept from. That's interesting. Now, yeah, you, you were mentioning, we were just talking off camera a moment ago, that you used to live in Chicago for about 10 years, correct? I did. So what Carol's Chicken was your favorite one that you go to? Um, you know, it's funny because people always say 87, 103rd, but you know, I lived in the south suburbs and they're there, so I was 164th and uh, over in one over in, uh, Country Club Hills. Oh, really? So that was okay. my favorite. That was your favorite so, one? Plus, I knew the owners there, so I was kind of biased to the food here. Oh, that's amazing. So now, being from Louisiana, the Mississippi area, um, you, there was no Harold's Chicken down here, was there? No, 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 not at all. So how did you get into the chicken business from there? Well, I actually um, didn't set out to get into the chicken business. Um, I was, um, my, my, my ex-husband was a huge Harold's Chicken fan. He was from Chicago. And when we used to go there, as soon as we got off the plane, the first stop he would get to is, oh, let's go to Harold's, you know. And so it came part of our, our lifestyle, our culture. And so, especially on the south side, the south the suburbs of Chicago, Harold's is a staple um, there. So, if you, you go to Chicago, you gotta go to Harold's. You gotta go to Harold's, you gotta get Giordano's, you gotta get the Chinese food. I'm telling you, that's really important <laughs> right there. But now, also, one thing that's also fascinating, we'll come back to Harold's in a moment, but you're also in the real estate industry, is that correct? Yeah, I've been in the real estate industry for, oh, I don't tell you how long, but tell my age. So, yes. Yeah, so Quite I a young out, lady, so please stop. I started out in the real estate industry in the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, oh wow, that's pretty. That's a pretty um, um, robust market for real estate. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. And so it actually, um, I started out in, in tech, technology. Um, I was an engineer of a company called Rich Ruby Corporation. And then I migrated over into the real estate field doing mortgages. Um, a good friend of mine kind of tricked me into getting into the industry. And I tricked you? And he tricked me into it. He had me helping him process loans and, and do things in my, my spare time for him. And, and for me, I love the art of the deal. You know, in my mind, when my brain works, is that love to kind of put things together. So take something, take nothing, and make it into something. So I developed a passion for it have a knack for it. So now, um, and speaking back to about Harold's, now um, what can someone, when someone comes in to order their meal, is it an experience now um, with Harold's Chicken because you see the TVs, you see, they can watch their favorite game, mm -hmm. you see that they um, can relax and recline. What's the experience coming to this Harold's Chicken? Well, the experience is, and the vision behind it was to make this a destination place where people can come, you know, family-oriented um, environment, you can bring your family, you can come and hang out with your girlfriends, your guy friends, Friends, you know, it's a it's a it's a catch-all. You know, so when you walk through the door, you're gonna be greeted by you know welcoming faces and the personalities, and we're gonna seat you um, to your table. You have a full bar. You can have cocktails. You can have mocktails. You know, you. What's a mocktail? A mocktail is a cocktail 
with no alcohol. Oh, okay, <laughs> like a virgin daiquiri. Yes, like that, exactly, right? oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, um, is there a health menu? Because I know being out here in LA, people really want to be healthy and conscious about uh, their health. Is there a health menu? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not a place to come if you're on a diet. Wait oh. until your cheat day and then come see us. You know, so we don't have any vegan options. Mm -hmm. I know it's LA. I have a ton of vegan friends. I love all of you guys, mm -hmm. but this is not the place for you. What we're gonna provide you is is amazing food with great flavor is going to be you know fresh never frozen product um, and it's going to be cooked to order for you and it's going to be delicious you but you're going to have to eat the jam afterwards <laughs> now, you leave, now, now Chasha you leave something out that everybody wants to know about it's the mild sauce yes did you get you the know, sauce we, right of uh, course we got the sauce you know being this is a corporate location and being partnered with the corporate uh, founders of the of Harold's Chicken we, we cut no corners mercy this. so you know we're going to give it all to you the just like you would back home. Oh, we love that. We love that. Now, again, this is uh, we're at the Shore Shows here in Hollywood at the Harold's Chicken location, 6523 Hollywood Boulevard, right here in Hollywood, California. And I am talking to the owner and founder, uh, well, the owner of the Hollywood location, Chastity Clark. Now, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, from this quick commercial break, we're going to ask her what's next for Harold's. Are they going to be expanded? We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sherrard Show. I am your host, Sherrard, having a wonderful ta time talking to the owner of the Harold's Chicken here in Hollywood. It is such an exciting time because I've been longing for some Harold's Chicken for the last six years. Well, I'm no more. Mercy, well, tell no me more. the truth. I, I just have to have some of this chicken. Now, um, once you get this up and running, because you said you're, um, it's running fine and everybody's receiving it very well. You opened in November 23rd mm -hmm. last year. What's the next step for Harold's Chicken? Well, my partners and I have been looking at additional locations in Los Angeles, and uh, we're also in talks with doing one in the airport um, at the International Terminal, LAX. Whoa! So, um, and, you know, the uh, Christian uh, Pierre Sherrard, the, the uh, CEO of Heroes, has an amazing vision of taking this brand not just, you know, U.S. wide, but internationally. So she has some great visions, and I'm honored to be a part of working with her to help execute those. The world needs to know about Harold's Chicken, right? Absolutely. And we're Absolutely. on a mission. Uh, we're like the Blues Brothers. We're on a mission <laughs> from God to tell more people about exactly. Harold's Chicken. Exactly. And we really appreciate you doing that. Yes. Now, uh, one other thing I want to touch on as well. You're in the music industry. Is that right? Correct? What I'm seeing. Well, yeah, we own. It. I am um, one of the owners of a, a music label. We have a label, and we also have a production company. And um, and then my partner also owns a um, a MCN, a content management company called. One of, it's one of the co-founders of. It's called Free Music. Wow, wow. And our company is Supreme Music Group, and we have a management company called Starlings Worldwide. So you're signing artists and uh, things like uh -huh. that. So with all this going on, how are you able to look so peaceful and calm? run this Harold's Chicken. How are you able to do that? Oh man, I have amazing favor by God. Thank so he, you. you know, so he uh, he gets me all the strength to accomplish all the things that I never dreamed I would be able to do. I'm so I'm mean, so impressed, and I'm sure um, you all are impressed back home as well as my team because this is a lovely place. Actually, we're doing this right in the VIP room here in Harold's Chicken. I don't recall the one in Chicago, but the ones I've gone to in the VIP. <laughs> so it's pretty doggone impressive. Now, um, where can someone so? Tell me this, like for those who want to order or keep up with you in Facebook, things like that. Yeah, contact? so we are on Instagram at Harold's Chicken LA, um, and we our website is Harold'sChickenLA.com. And so, if you want to order, they can go on our website and order through the website. They also can download an app called Toast T O A S T Takeout and be able to place orders um, to do pickup and takeout orders now, through the app. Now, do you deliver or just take out? Yeah, that you can do delivery. On through the website heroschickenla.com. Really? Now, what's the radius that you deliver? Five miles. Five miles, ladies and gentlemen. They can also deliver. She's really covering <laughs> yep. all the bases. This is pretty <laughs> double impressive. Yeah. We want to thank you for being on the show. Thank um, you. I know you're taking a busy moment. This is like right around lunchtime, ladies and gentlemen, and, and she's uh, taking her time out to be on the Sherrard show. But um, in a later date, she, we, hopefully, you can come back and then we can do more of an extensive. Yeah, interview. I love that. We really appreciate that. But you also, ladies and gentlemen, are going to see me do a taste test of this. This Harold's Chicken here in Hollywood when we come back right after this.
And so now, Chastity has brought me in the Harold's chicken so we can do the taste test to see if this Harold's chicken here from Hollywood is as good as back home on 43rd and King Drive in Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. So, so here we go. And the sauce is on it. And by golly, we got a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, mm, mm. I don't think I want to share any of this chicken now because um, this is the bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Chastity, right on. All right. Again, come here to Hollywood's 6523 Hollywood Boulevard, Harold's Chicken, to get yourself some of this chicken. It tastes just like Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. She's killing it and got the fries as well. I'm Sherrard. Definitely check out this episode. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. This lady's doing big things. Please open one up in Chatsworth. Can you please open one in Chatsworth? We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> thank you all for watching. And thank you for my um, director as well, Mrs. Majesty, Jamelia Majesty, as well as my celebrity assistant, Talisha, who is here doing a wonderful job. She got me all dialed up. We appreciate it. And see you on the next episode when we are in Bel Air for my interview with Quincy Jones. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day.